Not your Choi. I love you. Oh my god. <laughs> I've like been waiting here for hours. For me? We're like literally the same person. Oh. I, I'm gay and my dad's dead. Oh, <laughs> mine too. I know. Oh, right, yeah. I, I want to be a famous comedian too. Oh, I'm not famous. <laughs> That's what my mom said. She sounds like a bitch. She's an Episcopalian priest. Yeah. Can I get a photo? Yeah, of course. Also, this is for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm really gonna treasure that. This really means a lot oh to God, me. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Uh, actually, could I get a picture with you? Oh my, yeah. <laughs> this is the first time something like this has happened oh, to me. Oh, really? I want to remember no, it no too. No, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, peeps. Hi. What are you doing here? It's Valentine's Day. We have work to do. Face the label towards the camera. What? This Smile. needs to be on by I three. Uh, I can't this shoot today. For our wedding. All right, you have a break from 5.30 to 7. And I'm going to have a car pick you up and take you to La Bernadine. I can't shoot today. I have a show. Guys, can you pop up the romance? Talk about your wedding plan. Is this your wedding is. I have to go. I have to go. They, they need her back. No, they no, need no. you back Stay upstairs. Your wedding is doing my dress. Guy Fieri's our officiant. He's such an ally. Oh, and who's walking you down the aisle? Our dads. Just Family is all important to us. Our dads. My dad will not be walking me down the aisle. Get out of my face. No, Okay, tell them to wait. I'm not doing this show. I'm not getting accosted outside of my workplace. I'm not doing this. Stay on her. Stay on Get her. Get away from me. Leave me alone. F you. F you and your cameras. F you. F you. F you. And f you. F you for fucking watching this stupid fucking shit. Get a life. Big Booty Season starts now. You know what that means? Turn that resistance up. We don't sweat in here, we sparkle. Can I get an amen? Woo! Amen! Woo! Clear those minds, 45 minutes of focus on you. Let's get spicy. Santino here. Sorry if I'm a little bit out of breath, I just ran into my apartment. Those expense reports are coming your way in three, two, and one. Claire, throw it back, throw it back. No, Susan, I'm obsessed with you. Claire, do you even want to be here? Then get your ass out of that saddle. Ooh, one sec. You have Santino. No. Identified. You tell someone you are gay. You tell someone you're the keyword. Start looking for love 
in places where it exists. Stop going on a fool's mission. My name is Henry Borrow. I play Jake in Midnight Monster, and I'm here with Meme Daily for Snapchat to give you five fast facts. Could you do that one more time and just use past tense for Midnight Monster? Totally get it, yes. My name is Henry Borrow. I played Jake in Midnight Monster, and today I'm here with Mean Daily for Snapchat to give you five fast facts. Great. Fact one, what are you passionate about? What am I passionate about? Okay, got it. I am extremely passionate about representation in the media. And more specifically, I'm really passionate about my craft. I feel like when I started out, I didn't really know who I was or what I was saying. And then I really took a moment to figure out my craft. And I realized I I love craft. So the more and more that I get to do that, the more I get to experience like complete joy in this industry. And it just feels really good to say, I am craft. Perfect. Thank you. Just a reminder, each of these needs to be under 15 seconds long. Got it. So try to keep it brief. Completely understand. Thanks. Um, fact two, two-parter. What's your favorite monster? And what celebrity do you want to Easy. That's a good one. Okay. Um, my favorite monster and who I want to fuck would definitely have to be the Grinch. And the celebrity that I really, really want to f- absolutely is. Uh, 15 seconds. Okay, um, what do we do about the celebrity part? Should I? Oh, um, we can edit it out. Great, 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 great. Okay, cool. Fact three. What are you personally doing to combat climate change? Um... No, we need to get you into scene four. We have like five minutes. I don't think it's really that big of a deal. You can go over I the can't. Scene. I can't. Just tell them I'm literally right there. I swear to God, it's not going to take that What am I supposed to do with myself now? I literally made these plans a month ago so I wouldn't have to be alone on Valentine's Day. What if you just like ordered some dinner, took a bath, watched a movie, Santino, I'm actually so jealous. I have six dates today. Oh, okay, that makes me feel really good. That makes me feel great actually. Thank you for sharing. Um, I'm really happy for you. You're welcome actually. Mm -hmm. Do you want some? No, one of them is a lunch date on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. There is nothing like a midday turkey club to really get you in the mood. First of all, it is a lentil soup. Second of all, what you just did there, a little bit extreme. You know I'm always taking it to a 10. I can't control these hips. Holy fat fucking fuck. I got a date tonight. Oh my God. I can't bottom, I had chicken parmesan for breakfast. I have seen you bottom after three fribbles and a mozzarella stick platter, I think you'll be fine. How do you get a last minute charcuterie board on Valentine's Day with no notice? Oh, I'm freaking out, Henry, I'm freaking out. Well, I have to go. No, Henry, please, Uh, just have fun with it. Do not leave me, enjoy it, enjoy the night. Oh my God, oh my God. Mama, show me the light. Dustin stalked towards Sean, his eyes glowing yellow. Do you have any idea what you've done? Dustin shoved him against the tree. Sean's breath caught in his throat as he eyed Dustin's fangs. You've put every wolf in this city in danger. His nose grazed Sean's cheek as he leaned in. Sean shivered. The hunters show us no mercy. Sean gasped as he felt Dustin's throbbing shaft press against his thigh. Don't think it will be any different for you. Sean blinked, and when he opened his eyes, 
there was nothing but a cool breeze caressing him where Dustin had been moments before. Figla mia curettare, mamma mia, pensacce tu. Se ti pigli lo pisciole, e se vai, e se vene, se per le pesce mani te ne. Se ci incappa la fantasia, te pusca lì a pensare mia. You got this? I got a big heart and a fat ass. Hello. Oh my god, I am so sorry. Okay. Haley Steinfeld just gets like really upset when they don't respond right oh, away. My girlfriend Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect 2. She's a Peabody Award winner. I don't know if that's a real thing. Amy Schumer has one. Cool. Um, hey, are we are we seeing each other? I'm looking at you right now. No, you know what I mean. Are we Are we boyfriends? You're asking me this over a lentil soup? It's Valentine's Day. It's 11 a.m. Okay, you said you were busy. I thought you liked the morning. Hi, doll. Hi, Santino. As your friend, I love you and everything is going to be fine. But as your manager, you really screwed my poodle. What do you want me to do about it? You can start by answering your work calls. You don't get paid, I don't get paid, honey. And don't even get me started on that video. I don't want to see the video. Good luck because it's the only thing that my Fire Island group chat is talking about right now. Kenneth is talking grief on the Drew Barrymore show tomorrow morning. That could have been you breathing Drew's hair. I'm pissed. She didn't remember that my dad died. If you want her to study your whole family tree, this was a PR relationship. This was a PR relationship? Sweetie. Have you ever taken a knot before? Dustin asked. Sean gulped. No, I, I don't. Shh, breathe. It's okay. Maybe we just take things slow. Sean whined. No, please, I need. Tell me what you need. I need. Ugh. What? Are you home right now? I'm working. On the client? No. So tense, I need a massage. Henry, I'm busy. Faith, are you doing a podcast? No, I booked a gig, audiobooks. I'm trying to read a new book every year. You would not like it. I would like a massage. No. I'll pay you double. Uh, I'm so tired. I've been on five dates today, Faith. I have one tonight. You have a date with who? Some girl I met on OkCupid. Vintage. I don't know if I should go though. You have to go. The last date you went on was me and I don't count. Yeah, well you said I should put myself out there more. <sighs> when was the last time you had sex? <laughs> Faith! You know I injured my rotator cuff kickboxing Haley Steinfeld's dad! Get away from me! No. Hey. Mwah. 
Mwah. You look kind of like the Jonas. You haven't even seen my nipples. Come in. This is the digs. Oh, you still have your tree up. It's February. Mm, yeah. I'm so, mm, fine. Um, make yourself comfortable. Wow. This is a lot. Yes. And before you even ask, I got the truffle honey. A little divine guidance, if you will. Is that your mom? Hi, Emily. I'm so sorry I actually can't make it. My grandma's in the hospital with COVID. my dogs in the hospital with COVID. My dearest Emily, please forgive me for abandoning you on such short notice. I'm afraid I've come down with a dreadful stomach affliction, so I will be unable to attend our date this evening. I offer you my sincerest regrets, and I hope that this does not change your affections for me. Please allow me to make this up to you at your earliest convenience. Yours truly, Faith. You were there. Spooky, ooky, lumberjack man. What are we talking about? We were just getting to the point in this conversation where I think you were going to ask me a question about me. That can't be right. Just to spare us both the time, I did come up with a few while you were speaking. You got Henry, what kind of music do you I have like? to stop you right there. Who is Henry? Are you joking? Yes. Great. Number two, Henry... What is your greatest childhood song? Sorry, I'm just kind of anxious because someone might recognize me here. I have this like niche micro celebrity Twitter account. You follow it. Yeah, I think it has like 13,000 followers. Uh, well, 13,000. You pick this place, just to be clear. And speaking of which, not to talk shit about a frontline worker, but have you seen our waiter? Are you fing kidding? What are you fing straight? What do you do? Mm. I'm actually a showrunner. It means that I run shows. Chic, what yeah. network? Walgreens Plus. Oh my god, I think my stepdad owns that. But yeah. he hates it, so God doesn't think of both hands. They actually canceled my show this morning. Sad. It's fine. It's kind of just given me the space to figure out like what it is I actually want. Oh my god, did you see Nadia Choi burst into flames? Holy shit. This is, this is humiliating. She looks kind of scary. She's wearing a hoodie. Right. <laughs> um, can I uh, touch your Adam's apple? Um, sure. Sorry, I only have Benmo. What are you wearing? It's a bonnet. What? Bella Hadid has one. Who's that? What are you wearing? Jojo Siwa has one. Is that your date outfit? It didn't go. Come inside. Sorry. I didn't eat anything all day. I had a lentil soup for lunch. On a date? What the hell are you doing here? I hate myself. Ooh. Oh my god. What is she wearing? <laughs> Shut up. Sit down, okay? My date's still here. It's Nadia. Nadia Joy? Buzz her up. F you. F you and your camera. F you. Fuck you. And f you. I had a really bad day. Cass and I broke up. Yeah, we saw it on Ellen too. It was actually very chic. Is that truffle honey? Yes, it is. 
This is a thousand dollars. He saw them poosh. Did you know I was in a PR relationship? Obviously, oh. yes, Faith. You are a terrible actress. Okay, Nadia, look at this way. Right now, your face is on probably every screen in the entire world. Which means tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning, everyone in America is gonna know your name. Nadia Choi. I wish I was dead. Aw, oh, don't say that. In a funny way. You're on Ellen, too. This is the worst Valentine's Day of my life. Oh my god, it's Valentine's Day? Well, she told her ma, who told my ma, who told your ma. At least we're together. This way, your <laughs> yeah. Yeehaw. <laughs> See, a member of our congregation, Veronica, she came up to me today and she said she said to me, Leo, my son, he just told me he's gay. What do I do? My heart was heavy for this woman. My heart was heavy for her. And I didn't want to cry. I wanted to cry, but I said, you can't cry. I said, you cannot cry. Let go, let God tell her what you're thinking. And I told her something that I think is worth being shared on here. So I'm going to share it to y'all. I said to Veronica, I said, Franca, gay people, they are not bad people. I said, members of the LGBT community, they're not bad people. I said, they're misguided people. I want you, if you're watching this right now, you have a member of the, um, com of the community in your life, I want you to share this with them, right? And I want them to hear this with their ears. If you identify, if you tell someone you are gay, if you tell someone you are lesbian, if you tell someone you're the Q word, if you tell someone that and you feel that in your heart, I don't think you're a bad person. No, ma'am, I do not think you are a bad person. I think you are a misguided person. I do. And I think, I think you need to start looking for love in places where it can exist. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We don't look for fish on the side of the street, right? No, of course we don't. We look for fish in the ocean because they need water to breathe. Romantic love, real romantic love, it cannot exist between a man and a man. It cannot exist between a woman and a woman. It can only exist between a man and a woman, right? Period. And a story. Start looking for love in places where it exists. Stop going on a fool's mission. You deserve that. You deserve to not be on a fool's mission. I love you. Though you may not love yourself, I love you. Though you may not see God in yourself, I see God in you. I see these, I see these, these, these people, these members of the community, they do not have light in their eyes because they have not been enlightened. Enlighten yourself. Open yourself to God's gift. Open yourself to God's grace. I hope you join me in my mission. Hit the link in the bio to learn more. Like and follow for more. Peace and love always.